if you've landed on this page, you're looking for uh, information on on-page SEO. Well, you've landed on the right video. This will explain what SEO is or on-page SEO is. Um, One of the main things that most websites haven't done is index their pages. Uh, uh, Google is just an index of the internet and you also need to organize your page content. Um, you need to do research on the keywords and what keywords are, um, what, what the searches are on those keywords, whether they're increased, whether the trend is an upward trend or a downward trend. Um, how competitive those keywords are. So the, the, the foundations of a website is about the keywords and the search volumes. And you revert, you work in reverse. You find out what the search volumes are <clears throat> and find out what you, you, you as a customer are trying to attract, uh, sorry, as a business are trying to attract and find out what the customers are searching for and pull the two together so that you get the conversions. It's also important the intent of the keywords, which um, is what they're looking for. Um, so that it will, if you do the risk, that's done right, you get basically means more traffic, more customers and more money. Whereas most sites are just set up um, and they're just pretty things that don't rank, don't, don't engage the customers and talk in different language to the customers because they use um, technical language. <clears throat> A website needs indexing correctly. If you're over 35, you'll probably remember the index cards, the A to Z and the old filing cabinets A to Z or the filing cabinets which were um, basically indexed for what information they had in the filing cabinet. <clears throat> but most websites are not properly indexed. 93% don't have the right, they just have the page name and the company name, which isn't they're not indexed for keywords that people are searching for. So that's why they're not coming up. So what do I mean by that? Um, there's two examples here. One is um, a plumbing company called A1 Plumbers. And you can see the, the name of the company and the name of the page. Contact us, plumber, plumbing professional, shower pressure, A1 Plumber. What you want to know is when people type into Google, search they're looking for let's say emergency plumbers in a particular city or town um, that's what the keywords are there's another one here um, which is you can see gas installations wiper um, uh, appliances water heater repairs or central heating systems wellington retrofitting retrofitted hydro heat wellington um, hot water heat pumps wellington um uh heat home heating what um wire wrapper i think i pronounced that one wrong up there but so you, any combination of those certified plumbers gas fitters wire wrapper masterton so any of those combinations would bring up these particular indexes um the way you find out uh, so this is like the index of a book um, when you're at the contents of a book, when you open a book, if it has the contents, to find out the contents of a website, you put the web address in um, and you take the www dot and the HTTP out and you just have the pure address and you put the word site in with a small s and a colon and then um, the web address uh, without any forward slash something else. Um, and you can see we've done that for A1 Plumbers here. So we've got site, colon, a1plumbing.co.nz. And that gives you the contents or the site map for the particular website. And it shows you whether it's been keyworded correctly. And um, that's um, what we would call off-page, or sorry, that, that's sort of, a, sorry, on-page SEO. The other thing um, that google do is read the page and the most important things are the main heading heading one and the subheadings and any bolded words or any linked words that link to more information um, pictures that are properly named because google can't read pictures so if you take a picture normally it's jpeg one two three 
that's what Google think it is, but you have to name it's a leaky tap Christchurch or it's um, um, yeah uh, a blocked sink uh, blocks sink in Christchurch so that Google know what the pictures are about. It's important to have frequently asked questions that people ask as people Google the answers to their questions. It's important to, to say what the website is, what you do and where you do it. And then also a web, uh, a video, uh, YouTube videos are great with keywords on them as well. Uh, all helps to say to Google what this page is about. <clears throat> Click to calls, being able to quickly make a call rather than having to write down the number and then phone it. People want to just press a button and get onto a phone call. 70% um, of searches are done on mobile devices nowadays, so it is absolutely imperative. In fact, more than ever now, we are building separate websites for um, mobile devices. It's a, a slimmed down version of the main website. It contains the main information people want quick access to. So they want to make a phone call to you, they want directions to you, they want to see the services you offer, or they want to see your reviews. Uh, or they want to leave you a message, or they want to go to the full website. So just, just quick, easy buttons and using larger text so people can read it. Um, and so that's optimizing on page. Uh, there is a brilliant video out there. It's actually now delisted, but you can still find copies on the internet. If you put Mac Cuts in and you put How Search Works, Google have got a, a, a this is a cracking video. If you put how search works by Google, um, there is a new version of it, which gives you the overall uh, as to how they decide where things go. And this cannot change. It's a fundamental thing of Google. It's the way they've set things up. Um, and um, they're going to have to keep to that structure of indexing and um, so it's important. So it's a five minute video and it's great to understand it from their point of view. Um, page one rankings, click through rates. What a lot of people don't realize, and this is actually quite small to read, so I'll just have to read it out to you. Um, there are three ways to rank in Google. Um, you've got the ads at the top. What we call that is um, uh, leads now. They are sort of instant leads. Uh, the Google My Business which is the word of mouth on the internet about your business, which doesn't cost anything to click though, but you have to optimize it for reviews and you need to work with Google to put pictures and links to, to your um, Google My Business. So you come up there and then frequently asked questions is a good one as well. Um, so these link to websites. So um, we tend to find the frequently asked questions and try and answer them better and sometimes you can get in this pack. Uh, and then the next thing is the top ranked website, and then second, third, fourth, there's usually 10 on each page, um, and, but you do need to be on page one really to sort of harvest any significant leads. <clears throat> there are also two ones on here which are directory listings. Um, these are high quality directories that are, that, are, that are showing up on page one of Google, and this is why we, link you up to 40 top 40 um, directories, high quality directories, because they sometimes appear on page one, as you can see in these two instances here. Um, the top website gets around between 30 and 40% of all the searches on page one. Um, in fact, if you add up the next three, the, the, the total three here has about 30, I think it's about 30, 30%. Uh, 30%. If you add all those up, the page, the top of page one listing actually gets more volume search than these next three. So it is a very powerful place to be in. But what also people don't realize, there is a, a ranking for every keyword that you can type in. Every time you type in a keyword, if you add an extra bit onto it, it becomes another, another um, page on Google. And then again, if you search on mobile, it becomes a different ranking because some a lot of websites are clunky and what they might rank well on a desktop, but they certainly don't rank well 
on a mobile, hence why we make a separate mobile um, website. And they rank highly because they're really optimized for the mobile search. And that's where 70% of your searches are going to come from. So um, that's on page. Um, more visibility. We can actually do on page SEO and increase your visibility between 30 and 50%. And the more visibility you have in Google for the top searches, the more traffic you're going to get, the more customers you're going to get, and the more money you're going to basically make. So we've got three ways that we can optimize your website, your current website, for um, on-page SEO. So hopefully that explains a bit about SEO and what it is. And um, if you'd like to learn more, there will be other videos. We've also got a video on off-page SEO. And we've also got um, another one to do with um, the uh, like sort of op op conversion optimization as well. Things you can do for that side of things. So check out the channel. Um, this is Kingfisher Digital. We help local um, New Zealand businesses get their leads, um, usually from three different avenues. Um, so that they've got a consistent lead flow. So if you've not yet um, subscribed, there should be a subscribe button underneath. If you'd like to book a call with us, there'll be a, a link below this video.